Are you looking to get your first tech job? Then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of GoCloud Architects. And we're an organization dedicated towards building high performance cloud computing and networking careers. I've been working in technology for over 25 years now and I've been coaching or mentoring others to get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for over two decades now and I've loved every last minute of it. If you recall in the first video, they talked about the market conditions that are making it hard for you to get your first tech job. And if you haven't seen this video, the link is in the description below. So when you understand that due to things like cloud computing and automation technologies, most of these entry level jobs are just not there anymore, or they're there, but at a much reduced level, I want you to know about all the really great careers. So the first job I actually had was as a senior network engineer. I didn't do help desk. I had no tech jobs. I went from practicing medicine as a nurse practitioner on a Friday to literally speaking on a Monday being hired to be a senior network engineer. And guess what you can too. If you love something, you put your mind to it, you can do it. And there's nothing holding you back other than ourselves. We hold ourselves back. So my first tech job was a senior network engineer and you don't have to get a fresher role either. You can start in the middle instead of the bottom and work your way up and it will save you decades of time in advancing your career. So what are the jobs that are really in demand? I'm gonna go through the jobs that are most in demand now based upon our formula, which is what we hear from hiring managers, what we hear from recruiters, what we see in the industry, because a lot of us worked as IT futurists and basically predicted things going on in the industry, industry trends and the skills that are necessary to correlate with industry trends. So that's how we base this. The first career that I'm going to talk about is the network engineer. Well, lots of reasons. First, this was my first job and I love it. Two, it's a very high paying role. Three, the skill set of the network engineer is an extreme demand. And most people don't know networking. In fact, 99% of the people that think they know networking know so little they actually don't even know what they don't know. So I've been in networking forever and there are tremendous jobs. I've taken people fresh out of school, got them senior engineering jobs, two, three years out of school. They have senior jobs at big manufacturers of routers and switches. So there's lots of opportunities here. So network engineer is my first one. So what do we network engineers do? We build networks. Okay. What does that mean? Well, it means we work with routers, and switches and cabling and LAN connections, meaning inside of a building, wide area network connections, meaning maybe across the continent or globe. We work with routing protocols to determine the best, tra the best path for traffic to get to its destination. See, we network engineers provide the plumbing. You wanna to go to a website, it has to go through a network. You wanna download a book, it has to go through a website. You wanna to connect to a server and a company, it has to go through the network. So we build the foundation that enables everything to work. That's routers and switching, it's cabling, it's connections, it's routing protocols, BGP, OSPF, EIGRP. It's the translation of routing information from one routing protocol to another called route redistribution. It's traffic engineering. It's quality of service, prioritizing some traffic over another. It's rate limiting, making sure too much of the wrong traffic doesn't go in your link. It's translating addresses to different addresses called NAT. It's working with switching, which is layer two. Routing is obviously layer three. VLANs and VLAN trunking. 802.1Q, those kinds of things, spanning tree protocols, and now Python, because guess what? Network engineers are now working at the API and automating things just like everyone else. So now you know what network engineers do. Hmm, that was my first job. You know what I did six months later? I was a network architect. You know what I did then? I designed things. Architects design, we don't build. So when I was a network engineer, I did all those things. What happened when I became a network architect? Because I did within six months of, of actually my first job. I did this, I'd meet with clients. I'd ask their business, legal, technical, regulatory requirements. I'd ask them their business's pain points. I would ask what their competitors are doing. I'd ask what things they'd like help with. I'd evaluate their current systems and I'd design a new network. I'd sell it to the customer with the help of the sales team. And then I'd hand it over to some network engineers to build it. So see, as an architect, I was a designer. When I went from network engineer to network architect, I stopped configuring things. I no longer touched the CLI because architects don't do that. We design. So we design, we sell, we present different skill sets. Next, let's talk about security. What a great career. The more things go online, the more risk organizations have. The more things are available, the more things will be hacked. Now we're working in shared environments. We went from the data center where we can control everything to the cloud where we can control some things and other things are done by the cloud provider. Again, 
great trade in most cases. So now we've got security vulnerabilities from all angles. And because of the cloud, because it's so efficient, because organizations can deploy technology so quick, we're going to have much more stuff online. And when more things come online, it means more hacking. More hacking means the need of great security. So security engineer, wonderful job. We feel it's terrific. I've actually held security roles. I love them. Lots of opportunity, lots of money to be made and lots of advancement. Here's what a security engineer does. They secure the enterprise, which means they work with some of the people. They do a little help with regards to education of like, don't give passwords out. When a person comes in and asks you this and tries to request things, it's called social engineering, avoid it. When people send you phishing scams, avoid it. They do people work. What else do they do? Configure firewalls, devices that secure the enterprise. Configure intrusion detection and prevention systems to protect the enterprise. Work on endpoint protection, meaning think host-based firewalls, anti-malware protection. Work on access control lists throughout the organization to kind of keep traffic in between subnets. Work with the networking people to do some networking security. And they work on IAM or AAA, authentication, authorization, accounting, also called identity and access management. They work on encryption technology, VPN. So this stuff is all the security engineer. Let's take a step back. Let's talk about the security architect. Security architect is a great job. Well, we design a security architect's the end-to-end -end solution. So again, we start with the client. What, are their, what assets are they trying to protect? Because you're not going to spend a billion dollars to protect a dollar. So you know, what assets are you trying to protect? What's the sensitivity of your information? If your organization was hacked, what does that cost you in terms of brand damage and name? If your organization was hacked, does that get you in any regulatory problems or requests? What happens if things happen? So we security architects are end to end and we design a security policy. We often work with one of these theoretical academic goofy frameworks. There's all kinds of frameworks that specify, you know, all the things you're supposed to do. We work inside of that and then we actually design it the way it's supposed to work. So we need a framework. It's part of an architecture. This does this. Here's how you do the secure the endpoints. Here's the policy. Here's what you do with people walking in. Here's how you secure your stuff. And then we design it. And then of course the security engineers go and build it. Okay, let's talk about two of the next best tech jobs out there, cloud engineers and cloud architects. I'm gonna start with a cloud engineer because it's a very different job than the architect. A cloud engineer does this. They build solutions on the cloud. That's it, they build solutions on the cloud. So in order to do this, you have to have deep cloud knowledge, deep network knowledge, deep data center knowledge, deep application knowledge. Now cloud engineers, because they're building also should know things like scripting, like Python and shell scripts, PowerShell scripts, because they're going to be doing these things. So cloud engineers need to know how to code. They know how to build these things. They need to know how to configure these things, and they need to know in depth what these services are. That's what cloud engineers do. Cloud architects like me, we do it a little differently. We start with the client. We ask the client their goals. We ask the client their business challenges, their pain points, what their competitors are doing, areas of opportunity that they know about. Then we research what's going on in the industry and we think about what we can do to help them. We consider the technology that's available, the new stuff, the future stuff. How does that fit into an end-to-end -end solution to solve the customer's business problem? How do we make our customers more profitable with tech? How do we improve the customer's business? How do we promote better customer intimacy, meaning the relationship between the customer and our customer and their customers? This is what we do as architects. Note, we're designers. We design this, we present it back to the customer, we help with the sales process. We lead teams that are gonna build it, even in proof of concept. So this is a leadership role. We don't code, we don't configure, we design. Design, 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 that's what architects do. Why am I talking about this in so much depth? I run a cloud architect career development program where I teach people how to become cloud architects. And usually it's sad, people have been training for this for years and they've learned every skill other than architecture. So I want you to know the actual skills so you can get hired by studying the right things. Let's talk about the next two jobs that I think have tremendous potential for the future. And I love them both. They're not me. I love them both, but they are not me. First job is a DevOps engineer. What is DevOps? DevOps is awesome. It's automating software release cycles so software can be designed better, faster, and cheaper. It's automating deployments, infrastructure as code in the cloud. This is a really great career. Now, also, it's a really great career, which means you're not gonna just take the AWS DevOps professional exam and expect a DevOps job. Not at all. That doesn't cover any part of DevOps that you need to know. 
Here's what DevOps is. First, you need to be a programmer. For this job, you must know how to code. When you're done learning how to program, then you must learn the DevOps tools. Git, Jenkins, Spinnaker, and there's so many of them. Then you learn the DevOps tools in the cloud. So this is a very good career. We see tremendous potential because the things that a DevOps engineer could do in minutes might take regular people or like those entry level people weeks. You might need 10 people to do what a good DevOps engineer can do in an hour. So that's where these fresher jobs are going, by the way, because of automation. I think this is a great career. Again, it's not me. I'm not a coder, but I highly respect it. And I think it's a great career with lots of potential moving forward. The last one I want to talk about is something called DevSecOps. This is a combination of DevOps and security all rolled into one. So guess what? You need all those same DevOps skills and now security skills. So, great career. These are the careers that we see moving forward. We base these decisions on the following things. Supply and demand curves. Remember these things from economics, both macroeconomics and microeconomic variables? We look at them all. We look at what's in CIO magazine, which is basically what CIOs or executives like me go to read to figure out what's going on in the industry. Because we have the budget. So, ask the people that have the budget what they're going to hire. So, we do that. We ask hiring managers. We ask recruiters. We are strategically placed people in all industries. What are you doing? What are you needing? So we stay really current with our massive network. So that's why we produce this video for you to help you find what you need, get to your goals as fast as possible. It was so nice having you join us for this video today. Let me tell you about some free services we do for the cloud community. Twice per week, we have a free how to get your first cloud architect job webinar where we tell you all the things you need to do and know to get your first cloud architect job. In addition to that, once per week, we actually have a free question and answer session on live on YouTube, where you can come and ask us any questions you want about building your career related to cloud computing or networking, and we'll answer them in real time for you because we want to get you to your goals. Several more times per week, we have guests from industry industry experts that I've known for decades that are movers and shakers that have changed the world that can give you information so you can build the best career. I invite them periodically. They are on my show. If there's a chance to do some free training on our channel, we'll do it live because we want you to all to have the best skills for the best career. So please subscribe and hit the bell. I look forward to seeing you and I look forward to assisting you in your technology career. Thank you so much. This is Michael Gibbs from Go Cloud Architect.